Hello friends. Good afternoon. Today, uh, this video will highlight the latest features that have been introduced in your favorite application, StockSoap. And what exactly is that? That's related definitely with the options module. Constantly, we have been working towards the betterment of it and you will be finding some exciting features. So what exactly are those? Let's go and have a look at it. So I'm going to be going and clicking add portfolio. For example, today is an expiry day. So let me just pick up the bank nifty. You have seen that uh, previously you can fire all the possible option strategy. You know, you can create straddles, naked straddles, ratios, spreads, whatever you want. You can just, you know, predefine, select it and pick it up. Now, in this video, the new features are something which were in demand, which were always asked by many of the users of Stockso. And we have finally given you the desired output. So all you have to do is uh, uh, if you want a normal uh, strike selection or uh, relative, you have seen all of this. Now you will go and just get, click on the premium and Greek leg. You got me right here and your assumptions and thinking we give you the execution based on Greeks. Okay. Or on the basis of premium. So herein it will auto pick these strikes on the basis of the defined range and you will be able to execute what you want it to be okay so we'll go and click on the premium greek leg so first part okay uh, if you'll go and see here okay so i'm just using one as a sample you can see here four options uh, premium delta iv and theta okay so i will be covering these four examples in this running video that how exactly you have to uh, define it okay so first is on the basis of premium so first uh, that we are executing as you can see is on the basis of premium so i'm defining the premium to be it's a buy ce call okay so i'm buying a call option for example and i'm defining it uh, to be between 120 to 150 okay uh, and i will have to define the depth that how many depths i should look i should look on the itm side as well as on the otm side that's what uh, both means if you just want to look at itm side then you will just select the itm okay till how many depth you want me to check the so for example if i'm saying that you check up to 10 depth and check on both the sides okay so i have to pick uh, the option this way now with the greeks uh, there are values defined here okay now on the basis of premium or on the greeks which i'll be coming to you the right format okay you also get the facilities like let's say i have defined the target on the basis of uh, 5 uh, 50 percent okay for example or stop loss on 30 percent so you can place on uh, individual leg you can even have multiple legs accordingly on the basis of this like uh, one premium you have defined uh, with that particular range another premium if you want to define now let's say if another premium is not fine in the, that particular range then your portfolio might not get executed okay so you have to be very particular uh, when you're defi uh, defining the range and uh, everything you can, you know so that is really important so here and i'm just selecting the days i'm just uh, selecting on the basis of premium one that's what i'm naming the portfolio so i'm selecting here okay so once i've defined everything uh, let me just show you guys like i've selected 120 and 150 premium and have to find 10 depth uh, in the money and out the money so i'm gonna be just going and clicking forward let me just clear up the grids uh, so that it's very neat and tidy for you to view okay so i have started here uh, it has not found any strike so that is why you can see that that the execution has failed now why is that failed uh, because between 120 to 150 i'm gonna be taking you on the option chain page okay so between 120 to 150, the range that I have selected, I have not been able to get anything. There, there is no strike that exists within that range. So I will have to increase my range limit. This is what I wanted to show you a deliberate failure. Okay. So that is how it uh, functions. You can define the exact range if you are getting a range particularly. So now I've selected this and uh, now let's go and check. Uh, let me reset it and let me refire it again okay now if you see it has picked up 35 300 strike okay with the premium uh, value of 163.35 okay so this is what it has picked uh, 35 300 okay 
so that is how the premium selection will function here okay so if you want to see like you know you can click on the plus sign and you can exactly see now automatically my strikes were picked on the basis of premium so you can uh, create basically lot of legs lot of strategies here uh, up to eight legs are supported okay so for example now we will be moving on to the area of delta based execution okay so second portfolio that i'll be creating is on the basis of delta now with the delta uh, please understand that lot of uh, sites are there but they all show it in different formats okay so we have to follow a specific format all right now for example i am saying buy uh, ce or buy pe or in the case of sell ce and sell pe okay so now here in i am selecting the delta in this format okay now in what format i should enter the delta should be enter uh, in the positive range okay but for the pe it will be in the negative range all right uh, so when we are selecting uh, uh, particularly for the ce uh, for example let's say uh, 0.20 to 0.50 okay and i'm saying uh, 10 depth all right and here in i'm saying uh, delta to be uh, minus 0.5 to minus 0.10 now why in this format usually it's in the ascending format but when specifically it's about the pe we will be choosing up the descending format okay so i will select that and i will click on execution mode here and i will say that uh, delta 1 okay so that is the strategy here delta and that is also saved now so let me minimize this and let me execute uh, that okay so if you can see here it has executed the legs on the basis of delta all right so as i had defined it had picked up nifty 17150 and nifty 17100 okay so it has automatically picked because delta was in this particular range and that's how you are supposed to define okay now the third criteria of execution on the basis of a uh, let me just click on add leg for example okay uh, third execution is on the basis of uh, ivs okay so ivs will again be in the format of 0.23 0.27 okay that that's how you are supposed to define so for example i am saying iv to be between 0.10 to 0.40 uh, and look at uh, 10 depth okay run on days whatever days i want to and i will just say select uh, so here and i will name as iv and i'll say go and click on save portfolio i will just go on enable you will see the swift speed of it that it has found exactly the iv execution range between that and what it has executed it has executed 17100 ce so it's fairly very simple uh, to execute the strikes on the basis of greeks now fourth option is your theta okay so again i am going and adding up the legs okay so here and i am selecting as theta okay once again i'll open the notepad uh, it will be in the range of uh, negative uh, theta okay uh, so for example i'm saying as uh, minus uh, minus uh, 0.10 to minus 0.30 for example okay uh, and i'm defining again as 10 depth uh, select uh, execution mode and theta okay so in this case also uh, the mistake that i did is uh, i had told you that uh, in the sell side on the negative part when we are entering the higher side always goes first so it will be in the descending format so here and i will be doing that and i've selected that now it has saved and once again i have clicked on execution it has failed the portfolio because it could not find anything between that range okay so you have to be very specific with the range that you are seeking at but the safety feature is 
that if it doesn't find anything in that range it is not going to execute the order okay so that is the advantage uh, that you get when you're dealing with the stock so uh, with the option lovers the greek lovers this is what you gonna get and uh, you can execute multiple leaks uh, with the multiple ways to work around now for example i'm selecting here short straddle okay but at the same time i'm also adding up legs okay on the basis of delta for example uh, let's say i'm doing a sell c sell p okay now here and i've defined the delta as i've shown you the delta will be either in plus or in negative okay so 0.30 and uh, 0.10 okay now here and i'm defining the depth as 10 points now again i'm picking up the so the fourth leg now here and i'm changing the game a little bit okay so negative 0.30 to negative 0.10 10 okay and i'm defining the depth as 10 but here and i'm changing the rules of the game now i'm keeping these legs as idle okay and i'm defining my target to be as uh, 3% for example or three points i would rather say okay just to make it a quick execution okay again i'm selecting the stop loss as three points here and here as well i'm defining the stop loss but now on the execution or failure like on target or stop loss whatever is achieved i want uh, my leg 3 to be executed means this one on the basis of uh, delta okay i want so this way you can create delta neutral strategies very easily okay on the same stop loss as well i'm defining that execute leg so what i've given here is that either side of three points uh, whether it's moving on the target side or on the stop loss side i want it to execute the third leg so that's why i've cl clicked on the idle leg the same rule i'm going to imply to the fourth uh, the second portfolio now here and execute leg 4 okay once again i'm selecting leg 4 okay so uh, this is how i have created i have defined here all right now i'm selecting the days and i'm saying combine or let's say uh, neutral okay that's what i'm going to name the strategy I have selected here. Now I'm going to click it up. Now this is really important, guys. If you can see these two legs are idle, okay? I'm I'm showing it to you live. Uh, so what you can see here is that I've defined the target value as three points and stop loss as three point, and on the basis on the hit of target or stop loss, immediately execute my leg three, uh, which is the delta between zero point thirty and zero point two ten, and same thing for the PE as well. So you have to. wait and watch for that i think 3 points probably is a uh, little more uh, i will either reduce it but if i go and reduce it for now so this way you can create your uh, multiple strategies and multiple explorations i will have to just pause it up for a second so that uh, you guys can see the execution happening live if you can see here my leg target is is completed but my third leg is not executed now again if you see because i could not find a delta between the range that i had defined but here in if you would see the 17000 pe is again executed immediately because my second leg uh, stop loss or target was hit and that's why immediately the fourth leg what i had defined here the delta between my uh, negative 0.13 0.10 has to be executed is been done okay so this is how you can create your multiple strategies on the basis of greeks you will be exploring and getting lot of other new features uh, in the coming days as well we are constantly enhancing and uh, elevating the user experience when it comes to stocks so stocks is not just one of the most uh, advanced execution bridge but it is very economically priced because you get lot of plethora of features within this uh, platform with the selective brokers you would also see uh, with the straddle charts the payoff charts you know lot of things are there into the stock so so anywhere if you get stuck uh, the moment you get uh, click on add portfolio if you are stuck just go and click on help reading about any field is fairly very simple we have explained to you everything okay 
uh, whatever is your query, whatever field related query you have, how do you wish to enter the values there? Everything has been defined there. Okay. Now, sample values for Greeks have again been defined here, which you can see, which is 0 0.15 here. So this document is your best buddy when it comes to uh, for you to understand anything about any field. Okay. So you can explore it. And last, all of these trades that you saw right now running, you know, which is which is moving all of this looks fairly very real because it's working on realistic conditions is because Stockso offers you the first of its kind live trade simulator which is not just a dumb paper trading that you see around with various platforms, but it will provide you the synthetic environment to trade wherein you can test your strategy. You can basically do forward testing without risking any single penny into the market. So guys, uh, subscribe to the channel. I believe uh, you would have loved the Algobaba team's uh, efforts uh, in bringing you the best of the features at the lowest possible cost. Stay subscribed, do uh, promote us and uh, thank you for watching guys. Thank you.